All right, guys, we're on numbers 26, and it's very long. It's about um, two and three quarters of a page, so over 10 minutes, I'm sure. So numbers 26. And it came to pass after the plague that the Lord spoke unto Moses <clears throat> and unto Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, saying, Take the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel from 20 years old and upward. Remember, Eleazar took over for um, Aaron, maybe Aaron's son. Remember, he had a switch. Yeah, there's something going on where Eleazar <clears throat> was told to be in charge of the Levites now. So, so God told Moses and Eleazar, Take the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel from twenty years old and upward. Throughout their father's house, all that are able to go to war in Israel. And Moses and Eleazar, the priests, spoke with them in the plains of Moab by the Jordan near Jericho. The first time God's saying, hey, get them together and let's go to war. In the plains of Moab, by Jordan near Jericho, saying, Take the sum of the people from twenty years old and upward, as the Lord commanded Moses and the children of Israel, which went forth out of the land of Egypt. Reuben, so Reuben, the eldest son of Israel, the children of Reuben, Hanak, of whom cometh the family of the Hanakites, of, of, Pe, of Pelu, the family of the Peluites, of Hezron, the family of the Hezronites, of Carmi, the family of that were numbered of them were forty and three thousand and seven hundred and thirty. And the sons of Pelu, Iliab, and the sons of Iliab, Namul, and Dathan, and Abiram. This is, this is that Dathan and Abiram, which were famous in the congregation, who strove against Moses and against Aaron in the company of Korah, when they strove against the Lord. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up together with Korah, when that company died. What time the fire devoured 250 men, and they became a sign. Notwithstanding, children of Karad died not. Remember, that was after God told them to go to go spy out the land, and they were pretty much not tr trusting in God. The sons of Simeon, after their families of Nemuel, the family of the Nemulites, of Jamin, the family of the Jaminites, of Jachin, the family of the Jachinites, of Zerah, the family of the Zarites, the Shal, the family of the Shalites, these are the families of the Simeonites, 20 and 2,200. This is just going to be a whole bunch of names. It's going to be monotonous, kind of. The children of Gad, after their families of Zephon, the family of the Zephonites, the Haggai, the family of the Haggites, the Shuni, the family of the Shunites, of Osni, the family of the Osnites, of Uri, the family of the Erites, of Erod, the family of the Erodites, of Arali, the family of the Aralites. These are the families of the children of Gad. We're going to do this 12 times. According to those that were numbered of them, 40,500. The sons of Judah were Ur and Onan. Ur and Onan died in the land of Canaan. And the sons of Judah, after their families, were of Shelah, the family of the Shelanites, of Pharez, the family of the Pharzites, of Zerah, the family of the Zarhites. And the sons of Pharez were of Hezron, the family of the Hezronites, of Hamul, the family of the Hamulites. These are the families of Judah, according to those that were numbered of them, three score and sixteen thousand and five hundred. The sons of Issachar, after their families of Tola, the family of Tolites, of Pua, the family of the Punites, of Jashub, the family of the Jashabites, of Shimron, the family of the Shimronites. These are the families of Issachar, according to those that were numbered of them, three score and four thousand and three hundred. The sons of Zebulun, after their families of Sirid, the family of the Sardites, of Elon, the family of the Elonites, of Jalil, the family of the Jalilites, these are the families of Zebulonites, according to those that were numbered of them, three score thousand and five hundred. The sons of Joseph, their families were Manasseh and Ephraim. Of the sons of Manasseh, the Machir of the Machronites and the Machir begot Gilead. Of Gilead come the family of the Gileonites. These are the sons of Gilead, of Jizer, the family of Jizerites, of Halek, the family of the Halekites. And Azriel, the family of the Azraelites, and of Shechem, the family of the Shechemites, and of Shemida, the family of the Shemadites, and of Hepher, the family of the Hepherites. And Zelophalad, the son of Hepher, had no sons but daughters, and the names of the daughters of, of Zelophad were Mala, and Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Terza. These are the families of Manasseh, and those that were numbered of them, fifty and two thousand and seven hundred.
These are the sons of Ephraim after their families of Shutala, the family of the Shutalites, of Becker, the family of the Bakrites, of Tahan, the family of the Tahanites, and these are the sons of Shutala, of Iran, the family of the Iranites. These are the families of the sons of Ephraim, according to those that were numbered. Of them, thirty and two thousand and five hundred, these are the sons of Joseph after their families. The sons of Benjamin after the families of Bela, the family of the Belites, of Ashbel, the family of the Ashbelites, of Aharam, the family of the Aharamites, of Jupam, the family of the Jupamites, of Hufan, the family of the Hufamites, and the sons of Bela were Ard and Naman, of Ard, the family of the Ardites, and of Naman, the family of the Namites. These are the sons of Benjamin after their families and they that were numbered of them were forty and five thousand and six hundred. These are the sons of Dan after their families. Shuham, the family of the Shuhamites. These are the family of Dan after their families. All the families of Shuhamites, according to those that were numbered of them, were three score and four thousand and five hundred. Of the children of Asher, after the families of Jemma, family of Jemanites, Jezui, the family of the Jezuites. So Asher, the Jezui. The family of the Jesuites, of Beriah, the family of the Berites, the sons of Berah, of Heber, the family of the Hebrites, of Machiel, the family of the Machielites, and the name of the daughter of Asher was Sarah. The name of the daughter of Asher was Sarah. I'm not sure why they're mentioning her. These are the families of the sons of Asher, according to those that were numbered of them, who were 40 and 3,400. So they're going to war and they're just gathering up a, a, a consensus. Of the sons of Naphtali, after their families of Jaziel, the Jazielites, Guni of the Gunites, Jezer of the Jezerites, Shalem of the Shalemites. These are the families of Naphtali, according to their names, and that they that were numbered of them were forty and five thousand and four hundred. These were the numbered of the children of Israel, six hundred thousand and a thousand seven hundred and fifty, or seven hundred and thirty. So they had six hundred thousand men. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Unto these the land shall be divided for an inheritance according to the number of names. To many thou shalt give the more inheritance, and to few shall give the less inheritance. To every one shall his inheritance be given according to those that were numbered of him. Notwithstanding, the land shall be divided by lot according to the names of the tribes of their fathers. They shall inherit according to the lot shall be the possession thereof be divided between many and few. And these are they that were numbered of the Levites after their families of Gershon, the family of Gershonites. Kohath of the Kohathites, Merari of the Mararites, these are the families of the Levites, the Libnites, the family of the Hebronites, family of the Malites, family of the Mushites, family of the Kohorites. And Kohath begot Amram. And the name of Abram's wife was Jochebed, the daughter of Levi, whom her father bore to Levi in Egypt, or whom her mother bore to Levi in Egypt. And she bore unto Amram, Aaron, and Moses. Anyway, and Kohath begot Amram. And the name of Abraham's wife was Jochebed, the daughter of Levi, whom her mother bore to Levi. Jochebed. So Jochebed was her mother bore to Levi. And she bore unto Amram. So Jochebed is Moses and Aaron's, Aaron's mom, and Miriam, their sister. And unto Aaron was born Adab and Abihu, Eleazar and Ithamar. And Adab and Abihu died when they offered strange fire before the Lord. And those that were numbered of them were twenty and three thousand, all males from a month old and upward, for they were not numbered among the children of Israel, because there was no inheritance given them among the children of Israel. These are they that were numbered by Moses and Eleazar the priest who numbered the children of Israel in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho. Among these there was not a man of them whom Moses and Aaron the priest numbered when they numbered the children of Israel in the wilderness of Sinai. So, but among these there was not a man of them whom Moses and Aaron the priest numbered when they... This is a totally new generation. Completely new. For the Lord had said of them, They shall surely die in the wilderness, and there was not left a man of them, save Caleb, except for Caleb and Joshua. It's interesting, right? Anyway, peace.